finish the setup we have here a uh, two power meters left side is the export this measure uh, the power going out to the grid and the right side shows the load or the power coming in from the grid and now here are the current transformer for the power meters and this wire is for the current transformer needed in our device and around this side is the grid side inverter this is the AC line going to our socket The DC side of our inverter goes to the output of our limiter device and this one is our solar panel which serves as the input of our limiter device. This one is the AC input needed in our device. This one goes to the AC line together with the supply of the power meters. Now this is one of our test load, the air cooler. Let's see how much power it's consuming. So it's around 50 watts 49 50 or 50 watts now this bulb is another load we can use to test our system it's consuming around 17 watts Okay, now we will start to test our power limiter device. Now let's try to plug in our air cooler. It's around 50 watts power consumption. Now let's turn on the DC supply from the solar panel. So the power inverter starts to power up because the limiter is giving its minimum power output. At this time, the power limiter is giving the inverter some test power output. At the same time, it's the current transformer signal and then it powers itself up because it detects a load in our system. At this time, the device will try to increase the power output going to the inverter to compensate for the load in our system as you can see the power reading is going down and as you can notice the blinking of the light is going faster which means that it's increasing the power output going to the grid side inverter take a look at our power reading now it's uh, 17 watts still going down and our target wattage is below 10 watts 16 watts still going down The power still going down. Now we're at uh, 
13 watts, 12 watts, still going down, 11, okay. As you can see, the LED is much more faster. which is the light bulb watch out on the power reading so it increase again to 24 watts because we add the light bulb the limiter will try to compensate again by increasing the power output so the wattage will start to go down now it's at 20 watts 16 watts you can see the LED it starts to blink much faster now now we are at 11 watts 10 watts still going down we're at 9 watts and now it's within our target of below 10 watts so basically the device reduces the power to below 10 watts whatever your load is as long as you have enough solar power to compensate for your load so if you have any other questions or more details regarding this device just leave a comment and i will make another video to answer your questions very messy because this is just a prototype there are a lot of components added and changed since I first started this project these are the semiconductor the MOSFETs input and output capacitors coil is the power supply for the programmable controller signal conditioner and the programmable controller bypass relay and the transformer for the AC input again if you want more details or if you have any question just leave a comment so i can answer in another video